Hi friends. It's been so long. It's been over a month, I think, or just out a month since I've posted. I have missed this so much. So <sighs> lighting be, you know what? It's a little bit cool today. It's raining outside. That's why I don't have a lot of natural light. I'm not going to use another excuse not to film. We're going to film today. I have picked up a decent amount of beauty products while I have been kind of MIA. So I want to do a quick haul first and then we're going to do a full face of new products. The star of the show being the Nomad Cosmetics Ghost Town Palette, which is just so exciting. I can't wait to talk about this, but that sounds good to you. I hope you'll stick around, hang out, keep watching. Let's just hang out and talk about makeup, you know? All right, so before I get into skin prep, which I do need to do, I'm a little dry. Um, it is the afternoon. I have a ton of stuff to do this afternoon and this evening. So I think a little bit of glam and a little outfit might help me get through this, you know? And I just miss filming, so hello. Let's start with the first thing that I ordered, which was these new releases. I think I, I'm tempted to get into like the new release video game. I just, I don't have super hot takes. Maybe I do, I don't know. But foundations, there's so many that I want to try right now. One of them was CL. This is the brand from Nikki DeRust who founded Rowan and has since left Rowan if you don't know that. She was so innovative with the initial Rowan launches that I just really wanted to try this. And the cherry on top was that it's SPF 50. So the Tint and Protect Foundation or Complexion Product is SPF 50. The blushes, the Blush and Protect are also SPF 50. And I got a kit where it came with this nice little blender and blender case, which is going to be coming in handy for travel that I'm actually packing for now. I have worn both of these products twice. I don't think it's what I want to use today, but we can talk about it in the roundup at the end of this video. But I got this as a kit. I did not get the powder. There is a powder available as well. Then this I ordered kind of in the midst of me in and out of filming, and that was the Merit Cream Eyeshadows and the new shadow brush, which is dual-ended. I got the shade Studio and then Nelson. So I have used these. I have a lot of thoughts on these. Um, I know that there's been a ton of reviews already and I'm a little late to the game in that sense, uh, but we can talk about these again in the roundup. I don't think that I will be using them today per se. So that's the other point of me showing you all of this. Let me know what you want a dedicated video for down below. I'm happy to do it. There's just enough that you'll see it in my channel, but if you want like a dedicated review, let me know. But I ordered those from Merit's site. I also made an order at Sephora, which included the Hani Hero Hook to hang the Hani Straight Edge Razor in the shower. And then I also picked up the new release of the Cocoon Cleanse, the Concentrated Serum Body Cleanser. I have not used either one of these, but I would be interested in creating a Hani video for you. If you're interested, I have now tried all of the products. This does not smell like their other products. That's interesting. Very excited to use this. Again, I think I'm packing this on my trip. Oh, I also got the Pebble Dish uh, for that bar soap. Um, this one is a diatomaceous earth one. I just wanted to try it. Mine is ceramic currently, but I love that these are supposed to dry out really fast. I will definitely keep everyone posted on that. And then I believe the last thing in my Sephora order that was not a sample was the Fenty Skin Blemish Defeater. It is a spot treatment for breakouts. This thing is so cool. I don't think I have any active anymore because of this product, but I did have a breakout right here. The cool thing about this product, since I'm not gonna demo it today, is that you brush it on. It has one of those silicone tips like some of the cuticle serums that I have shown on my channel. Let me adjust, let me adjust. There we go. That is so much better. I want to make sure that I'm not blown out and I'm not, but this white packaging is just not jiving with the <laughs> lighting. That's a little bit better, but you can see it's one of those silicone kind of brush tips like you get on some of the cuticle serums. And you brush this over the spot 
and it dries to like a very, very thin layer, almost like a super, super thin hydrocolloid patch. Obviously it doesn't work the same way in how it draws out the bacteria and pus. However, it is a BHA spot treatment and it adds that layer of protection under your makeup. Genius. I don't really like doing makeup over the hydrocolloid patches because it's so apparent of the edge and I've tried a lot of different ones. This one is not apparent. Now, if you get dry from BHA, it's gonna show the dry texture, but I, I've really been loving this so far and it really helped kind of shorten the life of this. Also, Frank's new automated water fountain is gonna be going in the back. Highly recommend those, by the way. And they're like, not that expensive anymore. Okay, then I got a big foundation sampler. I do want to try some of the foundations I got. A lot of them didn't have a shade light enough, so I'm gonna be gifting those, but it came with an Urban Decay All Nighter Travel Deluxe Sample Smooth and Blur Primer from Sephora. I've never tried this. It really doesn't wanna focus on anything today. And then the Hydro Grip Primer from Melt, which I have owned before, but I don't really, I'm not a primer person. I just depend on my moisturizer and I think that's because I'm dry. But I did use a 100 point perk to pick up the Cactus Water Cleansing Lactic Acid Toner from Freck. Just wanted to see what that was about. And then second to last, I made an order from Glisten Cosmetics, which is an indie brand out of the UK. And they, they do a lot of different things, but the most exciting thing for me, hopefully I didn't lose that footage, the most exciting thing that they do um, in my opinion, is their cake liners. So these are wet to dry cake liners and you can create your own palette like I did here. Oh, I cannot wait, look at this one. Oh, and then the purple of my dreams. The only one that isn't as true to color as on the website is this one here, but I should have known, that's on me. But these are like all the colors I need. However, they were doing a sale and they have um, the same kind of cake liners in these containers if you want a single, which is a little bit less expensive. I don't know if the lighting's gonna be conducive to show you just what this does. But it's a duochrome, you can kinda see. If I point it that way, yeah. So I got some duochromes and I got, what, two, two iridescent duochromes this one is like a purpley green, a little bit mid-tone duochrome. A darker duochrome, a really pretty purple that's just a matte purple because I wasn't sure if the purple in my palette was gonna be what I wanted. And this is kind of like a warmer version of that really deep purple. Then I also got this one that I can't open, Moss. You can kind of see the green on the side there is gonna be really pretty for green eyes. And then Coffee Cup because I was worried about the browns and I wanted to make sure I covered my basis on cool and warm. So I'm so excited to use these because we aren't probably going to be using this today because I really want to play with that palette. Um, the palettes do come with a brush and you get to choose the length of the brush and they had a lot of options. I got the teeniest one for like true detail work. Also, I got a new watch for my parents for my birthday and I'm obsessed. And I wore rings today. Also in a bathrobe from Nordstrom. That can be part of this haul. It's the best bathrobe that I've ever had and I got it in the sale this year and I highly recommend it. It's from their home line. That said, let's get into some skin prep. We'll catch up a little bit during skin prep, but I wanna get into the makeup, you know? Okay, for skin prep, I'm just gonna use what I always use, which is Sea Submerge from Phytosurgeons, also the Verdant Force Field Moisturizer, and to kick it off, the Fit Glow C Ceramide Toning Mist, which I think I can almost empty that, like it's on its last leg. So how are you? Please let me know down below. How have you been? What have you, let me know what you've been missing from my channel. Um, not that I think I'm so important, but it would be helpful to know what to prioritize filming-wise. 
I will say, and we'll get into that, like kind of let you know what's going on with my channel. But bef before I jump all over the place, it's going to be kind of ranty and tangenty because I haven't done this for so long. My brain is finding all different thoughts because there's so much that I want to share with you. What I was saying was, first of all, I just wanted to say hi, ask how you were doing, and hopefully things have been going well for you this past month. I have truly missed uploading, talking to you in the comments. I so appreciate people who are chatting with me on Instagram because it's kind of allowing me to still play in this space without the commitment of posting multiple videos, videos a week because I just, it's been a really crazy bout of burnout. And I do want to thank everybody for such kind words on the last video. I'm so happy that that was still entertaining and a video that you would like to see because at that moment in time, that was all that I could work on and it was filming small chunks throughout the days. I have filmed the same thing, but in my office, or not my office, my bathroom, and I think there's gonna be tips that are gonna be really helpful. Also, this thing is amazing that I got during my little break, which is from Anissa Beauty. I got most of their skincare brushes on Labor Day because they were on sale. This is by far the best cooling tool. It stays so cold. It's colder than that ColourPop one that I had, and I really love the shape for getting into all the areas of the eye because Man, fall allergies. Because I didn't get a break from all those wildfires, my fall allergies are just like crazy. Anyway, tangent. I told you it's going to be, we're going to be all over the place today because it's been a very long couple of months and it has especially been a long day and week because we are getting ready to go on a trip, which I'm very excited. My husband and I both really need this. But I did start filming that. I will make sure that I can get that kind of upload and edit because I think it would be happy. But thanks. Thank you for all of the kind words. I am not quite ready to share exactly what has been going on because I want to make sure that I'm ready to do so. I have the right words, all of that. But I do plan on sharing a little bit more in depth on what's been going on with me because if it can help somebody, that is the greatest thing that I could get from it happening. I'm okay. I'm slowly kind of coming out of this bout of burnout and I'm happy that I cleared a lot of things from my life in order to focus on healing out of this burnout. So if you're going through something similar, know that it's okay to take the time for yourself. And the creativity that has come back just from that break is wild. I'm like so ready to create. I need to create things and I'm just so happy to be back. So that said, moving forward, I think we're going to be on a one video a week schedule. I will probably provide an extra one in addition to this because this is going to be kind of a nothing burger in the sense of like, we're going to be all over the place. And this is more so for the people who are here for me more than just a review. And I appreciate you so much. And we're just going to play today. So... The Rose Ink Soft Light Skin Smoothing Liquid Foundation. Can I tell you how excited I was about this? If you are not new here, you know, and if you are new here, hi, the Rose Ink Concealer is what I have been using in every video outside of a few here and there for, I think, the duration of my entire channel. So, first of all, the packaging being mother-daughter is so cute or like big and mini. I just love that they stuck with the packaging for that. Skin smoothing, you got me. I love this so much that I have very high expectations for this. I have not used it. I am not going to put on sunscreen because it is, I'm not leaving the house and I don't feel like it. <laughs> but I am very anxious to try this out. I think I got the right color based on the color options online, but I'm gonna do just like not even half pumps, just like a, a third pump for each of those dots. I mean, I think it looks like it's gonna match really well. And with that, I'm gonna use a sample brush that I got from Anissa Beauty that I've been loving the shape of. I don't think it says 
which brush it is, but I will list that down below in the description box. But it's one of those triangle shapes. You can see I have used it. I, especially for concealer, I love it. Getting under, like into these depths. I told you, you guys, it's gonna be, it's probably gonna take a video or two for me to really get back in the habit of being able to communicate things <laughs> correctly for a video. It's crazy how much that skill tends to leave when you're not doing it. Now at work, I'm, I can be fine talking about program management things, but when it comes to kind of getting my brain back into that, you're filming a beauty YouTube video, it takes, it takes a hot second. I don't even know if this is gonna be useful. If you're seeing this, it's because I decided that I just don't, I don't care about negative comments. If you're here to play with makeup and have fun, what that's what my channel is about and I can't change my brain. And where it's at right now, it's burnout. That's the thing. Okay. That is one layer. I will say one thing that I've noticed with this brush and I haven't quite figured out why it is, I think it's the varying length of the bristles. It's almost like a stippling brush, but it still is very dense. But what I noticed with that is that I get a little less coverage with this brush compared to something like my Beauty Pie Seamless Buffing Foundation Brush. So that said, I feel like that was a good medium coverage. It definitely evened things out, but I still have some redness coming through on my cheeks, which honestly, I'm not even gonna try to build it today because with the Rose Ink Concealer, I know that I can build really high coverage in the areas that I need it. And I put blush there and I wear a lot of blush, so I don't foresee myself needing to like really blank that area out up close it is it's not super dewy what I would be willing to bet is that it is like a satin finish but usually even things that are more satin to matte over top of the verdant force field kind of take on a luminous quality because it is so hydrating to the skin which is partially why I love it so I am dewy but it does look very skin-like in the sense that it looks like it has just sunk in. It's not really sitting on top, not even kind of in this area for me, which I need to shave my eyebrows. So if it's gonna catch anywhere, it's gonna be on the fuzzies right there. Yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. I think I nailed the lighting. I'm so happy. Okay, let's look at this again, just to show you texture. So good. I do want to see, I know that, well, I don't want to say I know, but you would hope that these two products would work extremely well together because they're from the same company and the same line and they package them exactly alike. But sometimes these companies do really odd things. And I think I'm only really going to dot that and a little on the chin where the redness is coming through and then around my nose because we might reassess the redness peeking through. I don't know that it's going to be as apparent after I bronze and blush. Also to note, this is my second tube of this. I, I just love it. It has been a workhorse for me for the past year, more than a year now, which is crazy. Time feels very irrelevant post COVID, I will say that. Like those years didn't exist or something, I don't know. Very strange. See, I do love how this fits under there, but I still, even like under my eye, I will get a slightly less coverage than some of my other brushes, which is so weird. And I definitely think it's the shape of the bristle not shape, the length of the bristles varying. I have the littlest bit of natural light coming in and it's just not wanting to cooperate with me. So 
we're winging it today. If you would like to see a video with any of these products in better lighting, let me know down below so I can prioritize which ones. We can even redo this if we think that that's worth it. <laughs> um, I do want to set under my eyes with a little bit of the Westman Atelier Fatal Skin Care Pressed Powder. But Pan is coming, and I'm already having a bit of a crisis about what to do about this. I know that I won't repurchase right away, and I will try to use up the Well People. That is a very good dupe for this. The Well People Super Powder, Brightening Powder, or whatever they named it. It's changed names. I, I, it will always be listed down below. <laughs> but I'm go around my chin, because this is a little bit dewier. I really like that, although it does look like I've got more redness poking through over here. That could just be blending. This is the problem with taking time off from filming and also changing your setup. So that's what I wanna talk about. Um, we'll talk about my setup after we get started on the eyes because I am gonna wait on bronzer and blush just because I'm not quite sure where the look is gonna to go today. And that will, you know, determine my blush. So let's talk about this, first of all. I am absolutely keeping all of the packaging that came with this. So this is the Ghost Town palette from Nomad. So if you can see there, it's like a, a nice little Western scene. Bam. Ooky spooky. Which, not that, that got me, but also the release video they posted was an Eagles song. Was it one of these nights? Anyway, I'm a huge Eagles fan, so that got me. And Nomad Cosmetics is one that has been on my radar for the length of the time that I've had my channel because Megan, who has been subscribed to my channel, I think since like the second video, which no one should watch the first one, but Megan has been on my channel for so long and I have talked to her for a year now and every time Nomad releases something, it's almost what I want because they do larger palettes like this. It'll be a beautiful color story. They are magnificent at color stories, but there would be like two to three rows of shades that I know I wouldn't wear a lot. So I never pulled the trigger, but when they released this, like I would say neutral to cool palette, like it looks like there's warmth, but when you swatch these, especially this gray up here, it is very cool, very cool. Like, look at that, isn't that wild? So it is definitely a cool leaning palette. You do have some warmth in the shimmers mostly, to be honest, but the mattes are neutral to cool. And what I love is, you know I love green eyeshadow. You know I love kind of mauve shades. And then, oh, these are just unique shades that you don't see together in a palette. So I was, I was sold. I ordered it for my birthday and I have zero regrets. And as you can see, I've really been enjoying this shade, Smoky Quartz. Definitely this shade, Rhyolite, Nevada, I think. And then also Tombstone up here. And I've also been really enjoying some of the mattes, but they don't show as much wear. I guess Bandit Queen does, like I've totally rubbed off the embossing that they've done in the shadow, which is another thing, like, let me turn it upside down, or right side up. If you can see kind of like the windmill, they do such cool embossing too. It's just so good. There's like this little skeleton guy with a handkerchief. It's just so cool. So I've been really enjoying this palette. I will say in speaking with Megan, she mentioned, because I have not owned Nomad before, she did mention that this formula is slightly different. They took customers' feedback and improved upon the formula. I will tell you that I love this formula. The mattes go on super easy. They're not patchy. They blend out well, but not into nothing. And then the shimmers are just gorgeous and you will see them, but they're not chunky. They're not uncomfortable on my eyes, especially in a time where I am struggling with allergies. So I've been loving this and I don't know what I want to do today. I'm very tempted to utilize this row. Maybe we'll utilize this row and then go into Smoky Quartz because it is a gorgeous shade. Yeah, let's, let's do that. I'm going to start 
in the crease, which I'm a little nervous to do this, but we're just, we're gonna go all out. Gonna go in with Skinner Saloon here, this lightest matte in the third, third from the right row. And I'm gonna use that on a blender that I use a lot. Um, this one is from the Morphe Hill Jaclyn. The Morphe Hill? The Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collection. This is the 37. Something similar would be like a rougher one or any of those. It's goat hair is what I'm getting at or a Mac 217. Oh, I'm a little nervous. This is really committing to this color scheme, but also I just wanna play around. So let's see what we can make. See, they go on pretty easy. They blend pretty easy. Just using like a quick windshield wiper motion. You can use circles too. It's not one of those formulas that you have to tap around and know exactly where you wanna place it. Like you can move this around by blending. I'm gonna go, we're going heavy because I, I need to feel glam. I really need to feel glam. I can't tell you how much I need it. So I'm just gonna do the same, same color in the crease on this side. And while I blend that, let's talk about my setup. I have completely rearranged my office and that organization video that you saw is almost totally out of date. Well, not almost, it is. I took all of those wire racks out of my closet <laughs> and on insert a picture and I bought some of the $30 bookshelves from Walmart, which can you believe the same thing, which granted the particle board quality might be better at Ikea's like $80, $90 now, get out of town. So I got the Walmart ones. Um, they got delivered really quick too, which was another nice thing about this. And I'm using those in my closet. I do want to like wallpaper it and make it look nicer. And then I also moved the leather chair out of my office and I ordered a five foot bean bag and it's been lovely. I'm gonna go in with a smaller blender brush now. This one is from Shop Miss A and they're surprisingly good. It's the E130, was a dollar. And I'm gonna start into this Calamity Jane shade, which is one of my favorite colors just in general. It's like that deep emerald green. Looks like it's gonna be really cool. I'm still waiting for someone to make one that's a little balanced with some warmth, but I'm going to build my outer V with this shade. But yeah, my whole office looks totally different, but now I have really good defined areas for nine to five kind of relaxing or editing in the bean bag and then filming in YouTube, plus any other hobby that I might decide I'm into for the time being. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I already feel so cool. I already feel so cool. Look at that color. <laughs> I'm so cool. Okay. So we're gonna have to like catch up on that, but I'm just so excited after taking this break, I have true clarity on what my channel is meant to be, what I want to share and where I want to take it and how I want to approach things. And it's nice to have been able to take a step back from that to do that. I did a much cleaner job on the one eye. So I'm going to grab like a pencil brush. This one is a 219 from Mac. I'm just going to clean up this line here. Yeah, like that. Oh yes, this is so cool. Also gonna make sure I'm really winging it from where my upper lid meets my lower lid, that line right there. I tend to not do it as much on this one side. I think it's because the shape is a little different. I'm gonna go back to the original brush and the original shade and just blend a little bit over top of the edge of that dark color. How cool is that? I'm digging it. I'm still trying to make sure the lighting is right and it's not, so know that it looks blended in person. All right, then Dead Man's Hand I think is just black. Yeah, it's just black and I do wanna use that on my lash line, but I wanna play around a little bit more than that, so I'm gonna grab a clean blending brush. Again, this is another one from that Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. This is a JH32. It's just a little bit longer bristle. 
And I want to go into Ghost Town, this green right here, just to add a touch of warmth because this is very cool. Very, very cool, which is not a bad thing. I'm just not used to it, and I like a little bit of... It's like very blue once you blend it out, a very blue-green, and I just want a little bit more green. And then from here, I'm really just going to play around with that Calamity Jane shade to get a nice smooth blend. Okay, so I played around with that for a bit. You can see a strong wing, but it blends up, and I promise in real life, this is darker. Let me see. It's darker and also more blended, but... I am now torn because we've got Smoky Quartz, Quick Silver, Calico, that could look really cool. Look how pretty. I Okay, I think Quick Silver is not for today. It's gonna be one of these. Oh, I'm torn. I feel like that green could make it really fun. Okay, wait, we're gonna do both. We're just playing today, right? Right, so let's do, I'm gonna use my finger on that Smoky Quartz shade and I'm going to tap it all over, leaving just a bit of my inner corner because I do like to keep that um, brighter. And I'm just tapping that on. Yeah. This is not doing it justice. That is a little closer. Oh, it's so pretty because it's, it's like a purple gray shimmer that then has turquoise or aqua, pink and purple reflect in it. It's so pretty. And these are also very soft, almost like a ColourPop Super Shock, but a little bit more powdery. Not in a bad way, just it's not quite that creamy. But you can see like when you push on them, you can kind of see where I've done some damage already. When you push on them, they do, they are soft and they mold, but I don't find that they they chunk and break up like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Rose Metal Palette. They're not that soft, which I appreciate. And then what I would like to do from here is on a different finger, add this green right over top of it into like the first half of the eye. And I am gonna go a little further into the inner corner with that. Oh, we're making like green, green mud, but I'm so here for it. It's so pretty. Okay, we're gonna have to redo this video when it is sunny outside to do swatches and things because, wow, it's so pretty. I'm so happy that I waited for this one. I'm gonna bring that up a little bit. These are the shades that I didn't have in my collection yet. And now I'm so happy that I do. I think though, because we're mixing this, I do wanna add more of that Ghost Town shade, that light green, just to pull a little bit more of that green the yellow green into the crease here to help it balance the coolness of that first green we laid down. You can't tell me I'm not cool in this. I do want to go into that middle shade, Calamity Jane again. And I do just want to connect from the outer corner to my lower lash line. Because I haven't done glam in a while, I'm ready to just like go full out, you know? And then do the same on this side. I picked up a little too much on the brush on that side, so I'm gonna wipe it off and just blend what's there. And actually, it takes me so many times doing this to remember that I'm always shy and what I should be doing is just going to that crease. So that's what we're gonna do. And then the same pencil brush, I'm gonna dip into the black, which is <laughs> Dead Man's Hand. 
here. So really we've just used this column and the bottom half of this column. I'm gonna go into that black and I'm just going to line my upper lash line, getting thinner towards the inner corner. And then I am gonna add a little flick and just blend that following the same pattern that we used for that deepest green. And then I'm gonna do the same over here. How are we feeling? Good, but do you know what I want to do? I'm gonna go into the first brush that we used and I'm gonna grab that Ghost Town Green again. And I want to kind of continue this shape to my temple, even kind of picking up what we just did on the bottom lash line and just bring that up. It just always looks a bit more finished to me when it's not finished, but dramatic, probably because we're covering a very large portion of our face with shadow, but it just looks more finished. No, it's just more dramatic because you're covering a lot more of your face with it. I'm digging it. I want to grab kind of like a detail brush. This is another pencil brush. This one's from Reference, the 03. I don't know. There's this one that I've been using a lot on the inner third, that's Tombstone. But then there's that, did I, I how do you swatch? How, how do things? That's how my brain feels. Gold Rush. Yeah, I'm gonna pick Gold Rush up on that rougher brush and just hit the very inner corner. I just think it might be a teensy bit brighter than that green. And I am gonna meet that on the bottom lash line to the rest of the shadows that we used down there. Kind of wrap around the inner corner down to that bottom lash line. You can never have too much of an inner corner moment. So I like to blend that up sometimes above my crease. I wanted glam and I think we got there. I think I'm gonna leave it there for now with this palette, but wow. I feel like a peacock. This is a very like peacock color story. Oh, my eyes, I'm here for it. I'm going to go clean off my hands and we'll come back and finish the rest of the face. Okay, I do wanna prep my lips here while we work on the rest of the face because they're, they're quite crusty. Every fall, it surprises me when my lips get chapped. But I think it's because there's no, you know, there's no hard and fast rule on when the, the temperature drops, but it still gets me every year. And I have been loving the Tony Moly Ferment Snail Lip Treatment Stick. This is SPF 15. It doesn't feel, smell, or taste like that, which I appreciate. Very nourishing. I think I didn't give this enough credit in that lip balm video. I've been loving it. But today calls for kinship. And I really need to order a new one because the smell is just starting to go off. But it was a year old in April. So I've gotten three extra months out of it. I just don't use a lot every day to go through it. But I have, the, I went through a period where I didn't use it and now I'm using it again daily. So I'm gonna have to repurchase that, but I love it. Let's do some brows. And I am gonna use the Benefit Gimme Brow Volumizing Fiber. Look, it's shrinking. I'm so excited. I've been working on this for a hot minute and it has been a roller coaster ride. I've changed my feelings about this so many times and right now I'm in a place where I like it. But once I get done with this, I have the Kosas I can move on to. I have the Beauty Pie, which I'm not a huge fan of that formula. I do, I am very curious how I get on with Kosas because it's been a while, but that one was my absolute favorite until I bought this. And then it's been kind of back and forth. But I set out for whatever reason to use this one up before I opened anything. And 
by golly, we're gonna do that. All right, and then I'm gonna top that with the Merit 1980 Brow Gel. And lately I've just been taking the end, whatever comes up on the brush on the end, and I stamp that through the tails of my brows just to help lay down some extra product where I am sparse. Let's actually go ahead and add mascara. So the Age Perfect by L'Oreal, the Lash Magnifying Mascara and easy to use, waterproof, the tubing version, my favorite tubing mascara. I've gone back and forth on whether it's Thrive or this. Thrive is so trusty in terms of how it comes off and stays on the lashes, but it's just so heavy that I can't hold a curl. And I used to have naturally curly lashes. They've started to straighten out on me as I age. So I don't want anything that weighs them down too much. And I think that the Thrive does like, I think I've even said this in a few videos. I just, this is my favorite. I hope they don't discontinue it. You can still purchase it Target and Amazon, but they also don't make brown, which is what I really appreciate Thrive for. But you know, they make brown mascara and now is the Beauty Pie Uber Volume, which I have a tube of and cannot wait to crack into. See, look, look at the difference that makes. It's like this makes sense now question mark. I hope everyone's been doing well. I can't wait to kind of share what's been going on, but I also just really wanted to play with this palette. I've been using the neutral color, like more neutral colors, more mauve colors, um, so much in that palette that I, I wanted to just play today with those greens and why not film it? I hope that's okay. And this has been somewhat manageable to watch and get through. Someone told me once in a comment to like land the plane <laughs> better and listen, I can try. There are days where I can and then there are days where I cannot and today is a day I cannot. To start with bronzer, we're gonna use Rosie Daybreak from Phytosurgence. I'm just gonna use that on the Merit brush to start to get a little bit of life back in my face. I think this is also really gonna help it come together. This is still like the only bronzer I've been using. I guess I switch between Golden Daybreak and Rosy Daybreak. Rosy Daybreak will always have my heart though because it's the first rosy bronzer that's not pink it's still very neutral when i just i really appreciate that i also love it with this brush i don't want to add too too much because i kind of like how this makeup plays on my paleness if we're gonna lean into zombie peacock look we might as well go all out you know so there is Rosie Daybreak added. It's really starting to come together, I think. I do kind of want to add a dark color to my waterline, but then again, I don't want to push it with my eyes because I do want to film tomorrow. Okay, for blush, I have the Khaki and Ferdinand Collab Summer Broad in the shade Latte, which is gorgeous, and I have been using that, or my trusty condensate. I kind of want to go with Latte, shockingly, only because I think it will help to add a bit of almost warm, rosy, neutral life back to the cheeks. I'm just going to use that Merit brush because it's in front of me. Yeah. See a little bit of life where you don't look quite as zombie, more peacock. Because listen, I'm all for looking like a zombie peacock, but if I had to choose a preference to lean one way, it would definitely be on the peacock side, you know? Yeah, I'm even going to bring that over my nose a little bit. Oh, I love it. 
And I am also going to blot my lip. Honestly, this might be a milk and cookies moment. Yeah. Because again, I don't want to go too cool. We introduced enough warmth in the look that I think neutrals are going to play best with it so that we don't look like a zombie again. I don't hate it, but I am going to add... I am going to add a little bit of the L'Oreal Lip and Gloss Balm in 30 Pristine Pink into the center just as like a highlight because I would like it to be lighter. Can we talk about people are really bringing back the baby pink beige nude lips from the 2000s and I'm absolutely here for it. I've been hoping companies would create those shades for a while now. A while now. Is there anything I want to add? To this look maybe some more depth I want to add a little bit more smokiness to that top lash line so I'm gonna grab the pencil brush the 03 from Rether refer gonna go into that calamity Jane that the deepest green that we use that's a little blue green and I'm just going to go from that black line that we created on the lash line and just kind of build up a wing. I usually do this after I do my whole makeup look and I'm just gonna make sure to at least connect it to the bottom lash line. I do this a lot after I put mascara on because I like to see how much volume and definition in that area my mascara will get. And then if I want to add a little bit more, just go back in afterwards. I feel like I don't see a lot of people on YouTube doing that. It's almost like once the mascara is on, it's on, but you can still, especially on the lash line here with like a smaller pencil, I would say the smaller pencil you can get the better because if your mascara hasn't fully dried, you can clump things together. And on the flip side of that, if it is dry, you can still kind of almost like tangle the lashes up. It's kind of weird. Yeah, and then we do, with that same brush, I'm gonna just wipe it off here. And I'm gonna go into the lightest, that light green, the Skinner's Saloon here at the top. It's like a gray green. And I just want to help that blend a bit. Not too much, because I like the definition of the wing, but just so it's not as stark, mostly on camera. I don't know why the camera is being so difficult in this lighting. It's just severely overcast. It's a very Pittsburgh way to be this time of year. I am just gonna tap it, I think, with that first crease brush that we use, and then also extend so it looks even. I kind of really love this look. Give a bit of, you know, mad scientist hair here, which is the new era I'm in, where it's just unruly. What do we think? I really love it. Like, I feel very pretty. This was very chaotic. Let's do a quick rundown of products and sign off. Is that how you YouTube? Okay, first and most important, the Nomad Cosmetics Ghost Town Palette. I'm so happy with this. This was definitely like a more playful look. I fully intend on doing a dedicated review to this. At the very minimum, we will do kind of like an everyday look because it really is kind of like your everyday looks. You're kind of smoky, more fun because this easily goes with the rest of it just to smoke things up. Like this could have been a palette that I would have been more than happy to have and it is neutral, but you do lean into the green and gray a little bit, which is fun. But then when you add these last two rows, it's so good. And it kind of goes the same here. Like this, those three could have been a palette and those three could have been a palette. And together, it's so good. You can kind of easily come up with looks with the four method where you take four that are together it's just so fun. These are 
unique enough that they had a place in my collection and they're a lot of fun to play with. So I can't rave about this more. I'm gonna continue to use it here on my channel like I do in my other makeup, but more so this right now because it's ooky spooky season. We're, I'm back for ooky spooky season, okay? What else? We had the Rose Ink Foundation. As it has sat on my skin, it is everything that I would want this foundation to be. This is a first impression, keep that in mind. I will be packing this on my trip, especially after how well it went today with my traditional skin prep. So I, I'm very happy with this. I will keep you posted. I have the shade 2N in the foundation and I use LX010 in the concealer. I will swatch those if you're on the fence about this just so you can see the shades together. Okay, so on this side is the concealer and LX01 and the foundation and 2N. You can see they're they're just about dead on. 2N in the foundation looks a little bit more peachy golden, whereas the concealer is like very bright kind of. Mm, they're both like pretty neutral, but the concealer or the foundation looks just a little bit more peachy. But as you can see, really nice match for me. Hopefully the lighting's not reading me to filth because it is picking up on some colors right now more than others. Super happy. We'll be packing this with me. Then the CL products, I do want to use them in a get ready with me or something. Um, it is very light coverage. The Rose Ink is gonna give you light medium that you can probably build. This CL SPF 50 is going to give you light, maybe light medium. If you build and is when I wore this with the same skin prep that I used today, it never fully set and it was tacky and it transferred. So I have more testing to do with this, but the blush I absolutely love. I have the shade Bahati. Uh, State of Kate has a really good swatch of this and of the foundation. She has already reviewed it. She loves it. Usually what she loves my skin is not a huge fan of. I am gonna have to kind of work with the skin tint a little bit more and the blush I love and would recommend off the bat to anybody. Love that it's SPF 50. Then in terms of new makeup, I think that covers what we used today. The Merit eyeshadows I have used and maybe I have a hot take on, but if you are looking for a product that gives the finish that these do and you use them the right way, they're beautiful. I'll insert a picture. I wore this the day that I wore the CL makeup without any mascara. It was just a very kind of undone look. Absolutely stunning. The thing that I don't like about these is the cap is so hard to screw on because it clicks and locks in place. And there's times where you feel like you just have to keep and keep and keep twisting it. And it, but it gets there. But the studio shade is what I have on in the photo that I have popped up. I like these. I think Merit nails what they are going for for the brand with every product they've come out with. And I know that that is not a, a widespread shared opinion in the beauty space right now. But if you want a full video, we can do that. And then, yeah, I think that's all of the new stuff that we talked about other than some of the shower products. We'll get into those either in an empties or some kind of body care if you want to see that. But I also got friend mail. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. I got friend mail and Chelsea was so kind to send me a ton of stuff, including enough to do like a full base of LYS. And I'm very excited. It's a brand that I've been wanting to try and I just never pulled the trigger. So very excited to do that. Thank you, Chelsea. We're gonna get into kind of a haul-ish video of that. We'll, we'll try things on. But I forgot one thing that I bought this month that is the most important thing and that I need you I just need to tell you about it because it's very exciting. I don't think anyone's ready for this. And I feel like this was a very hushed launch and it happened a while ago. I missed out on the first launch of it, picked it up in the second restock, and I'm like very tempted to get a backup because is this not the most beautiful perfume bottle you've ever seen. Like Barbie had this on her nightstand, dresser, whatever. 
Like this was made as a toy for Barbie at some point, I swear. And it smells exactly how you think Barbie would. It is a little heavy on the florals to the point where it almost leans granny. But there's enough fruit and sweetness to it that it balances it well, but I don't know how to explain it other than like Barbie would smell like this. And one spritz lasts forever. This is from the brand Define Me. They have done collabs with Disney in the past, but when I saw this, like even if it stunk, this is just so cute to put on a vanity and you will never tell me otherwise. It's $65. I think it's 3.3 fluid ounces. Let me see. 3.4 fluid ounces and it, it lasts very long like a high-end perfume. So I have to share that. You're going to see this in the background of my videos because it's too cute not to. And I'm so excited to share that with you. But yeah, lots of new stuff has come into my life probably because retail therapy. You know, when you're burnt out, sometimes it's hard to avoid that. But I don't think I did too much. This feels very doable. A lot of it was during Labor Day sales um, and a gift to myself for my birthday. We might need to do a new releases because there are still a few that I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about buying in the next Sephora sale or Black Friday, but I'm rambling. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope that you have had a wonderful last two months and are excited to get into the fall weather of it all, that you're taking care of yourself and that I will hopefully see you in the next one and be a little bit more organized with my thoughts. But until then, have a good one. Bye.